Hey guys, Don Rice here, and I'm back in the shop, and I'm still doing body work. I've decided that I needed to build up a bit more, so uh, even after all the, the block sanding, um, this, this ridge wasn't really as high as I wanted it to be, so I put the cowl on, and then started um, laying Evercoat down, and uh, so at this point, this actual piece right here on the real one does stand up a little bit proud of the fuselage. So the idea was for me to put Evoco down um, and get it more or less even with this plate. And then um, as I sand it smooth, it'll lower this level, um, which will help this to stand, stand up proud of the fuselage a little bit. So that's the plan. And... Uh, so we got all that on. You can see how much more Evercoat I've laid down here. It's probably overall not even a sixteenth of an inch thick in the thickest point, which is in here, this area. Uh, and, you know, going to sand it all back down again and see what I end up with. Um, but the first part is I need to get the cowl off, which is... The bolts have been removed, uh, and it's held on with magnets, uh, and those magnets are strong. And so the way I get it off is I basically grab the whole thing like this, and I need to break the magnets uh, loose that are on the bottom part of the cowl. There we go. And then the rest of it comes off pretty easy. Just like that. Alright, and so now we can see how this ledge has been built up. It's a little higher than it needs to be. Um, and so as I sand, this will go back down. And, you know, when we're all done, it's all painted, none of this will be visible. Okay, so I finished uh, doing some block sanding here, and um, what I have at this point is that there's a there's a little bit of a step up onto this part of the cowl, which I want, and that's true all the way around. But you can see how this has been sanded. So if I continue block sanding. I'm going to end up taking material off right here. I don't want to do that. At the same time, you can see out here the discoloration. These are low spots when compared to this. Come out to the very edge of um, the Evercoat, and you can see how it's feathering in to the fuselage. So um, this, this is one edge of the sea of Evercoat. And it's feathered in. This edge is right about where I want it to be. And yet, this whole area in here, um, sandpaper is not touching it. So, need to add more Evercoat right here 
um, so that I can continue sanding without taking off any more material here. All right, so before I put the next batch of Evercoat on there, this is isopropyl alcohol. A little bit of a uh, paper towel. You wipe it down. I clean the work before laying any new layer down or it won't stick. Okay, this is Evercoat Spotlight. That's the type I, I like to use. Works amazingly well. Love this stuff. So I'm going to dip in, pull out a bunch, just like that. Exhaust a little bit of the, the hardener. And I mean, with every coat, you need to move. You need to move smartly because the stuff will set up very quick, especially if your shop is warm, which mine is not. It's probably about I don't know, 50, maybe 55 degrees in here. I want to make sure you get it. You don't miss any little bits of the cream color. You want it all to be kind of a nice uniform, very light blue in this case. Alright, so what I'm going to be doing is applying it to all the, hopefully, all the spots that I know are low. small low spot right in there doesn't have to be too neat just need to make sure and get that little low spot filled okay there's that not that you all need to care about what happens next but in case you do this is acetone, a little bit, get the stuff off my fingers, okay, most of it anyway. I use, where is it, I use a razor blade, the stuff is starting to congeal just a little bit, you really don't want this stuff to set, because then you have to basically sand it off. I love this spatula. You can get these, this is an artist spatula for, I don't know what they paint them with, oils or something, but you get these that are an artist supply store, I've got a whole selection of them. Here's a couple, you know, I use uh, this one most of the time for little spot, little spots, but because I'm doing such a large area, I'm using the bigger one this time. They are a little bit flexible. So it allows you to go around corners if you need to, which is great. A little piece of um, bathroom tile, uh, and that's what I use for mixing on. And then that's acetone. 
rubs the stuff right off before it sets. If it sets, then you got a problem. And it will set and in about another five minutes, it'll be hard. So I do this after every batch before really even looking at or caring about the airplane. You got to get the, the tools clean so they're ready for another round. That's it. Okay. Okay, so you can see how it's kind of wet looking. That wet looking, that's the, the stuff um, as it's drying. And I did not come all the way up to the cowl. I don't need to, but obviously I'm a, I've got enough material to be above it. So uh, once this stuff sets in another few minutes, I'll start sanding on that, and I'll show you a little trick I use. Okay, so here it is just a few minutes later. And... What I'm going to do here, because I know I, I kind of like the height that I have going on here right now, I'm going to I'm going to draw on this with Sharpie because I don't want this level to change. And so by doing this, as I sand down, um, if I see this black start to go gray, well, that's bad. We don't want that. Can't see what I'm doing. You can see I'm starting to cut into this. And I've cut into that side quite a bit bad. This looks okay, um, but I'm getting close to cutting into that as well. So, um, and I still haven't touched the new layers of Evercoat that I laid down here, so it's still not high enough. So I'm gonna have to add some more layer Evercoat there. And you know, you just keep doing this until eventually um, you get it up to the level you want and it's sandable and it's all smooth and it's bitching and you just keep doing that until until you're done doing that and that's how it's done that's how body works done later